back here on Barry's Cutlass. If you remember last time, um, he had a little issue with it passing smog here in good old California, where they harass you over cars driven a couple hundred miles a year. Anyway, that's a peeve. That's why we're going to register everything in Montana. Um, don't tell anybody. Oops, I already did. Who cares? Um, we're going to rebuild our charcoal canister. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to change our PCV, our crate case, breather filter, our air filter, and change the oil, and then check the timing. Then, ready to go back for another try at the old smog BS station. All right, so here's our charcoal canister. Two screws, clips and screws, and then I've got this little filter here, which is obviously, ooh, stinky. It smells like fuel, nasty. So I'm gonna take this over to the table and show you guys how to do this. All right, so table, I meant tailgate. Anyway, so first act of shenanigans here is pulling this filter out. This is the original filter obviously seen better days as you can see we got this mesh in here so I will get that out here momentarily and then show you what's up so our next little mission here I drill a hole in it because getting these apart you don't a lot of guys hacksaw these apart and pry it apart and all this it's like uh, sketchy so I drill a hole with my step bit because it's easy and then there's our charcoal, our old activated charcoal. So I'm gonna go dump this out and then we're gonna fill this with meat. Like sounds through the hourglass. These are the days of our lives. And boy, let me tell you, reeks of old gasoline. So this activated charcoal it is tired, boys and girls. And some asshole dumped a bunch of paint in our dumpster. Great. Lazy bastards. All right, so now that all of our old charcoal is out, you just take yourself over to the pet store, buy yourself a thing of activated carbon, which is for aquarium filters. Same shit, boys and girls. You just dump this in there, seal this baby up, and down the old road. All right, now that we are sealed, and yes, you just seal it pretty much, you can wrap it real tight with high temp electrical tape. Even that flex seal tape works really well because it's very tough with the vapors and all that. So we wrap that tight. New filter, literally less than two bucks at the parts store. Done and done, boys and girls. Done, done, done. All right, filters, filters, filters. New breather filter, done. Getting ready to change our PCV, which is very oily. So I'm gonna swap that out, throw in our new air filter. And then we're gonna just drain and fill it. Someone's ready for the smog man. And in California, that's your least favorite guy. Because it's pretty much worthless in just the revenue, but you know. <laughs> 